What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and to the very first video of 2021. In this video, I'm going to show you how I dyed my hair with my favorite natural hair dye brand, Herbatint. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. Now, full disclosure, Herbatint did tell me that because my hair was so dark, I wasn't going to be able to lighten it up as much using natural dyes. So I went ahead after much deliberation and used a conventional lightening um, box hair product. Um, I explain a little bit more about this whole situation a little bit later on the video, but I will be looking into more natural options for lightening my hair and will definitely share them with you guys. But for now, let's just roll with this. I use the color 7C Ash Blonde. I'll show you real quick what's in the box. It comes with a developer and the hair color gel that you mix together, plus a royal cream sachet, and of course your gloves that are not shown here. I don't know why. And the application kit that is sold separately it comes with a measuring cup, brush, and a protective cape. Now let's go dye my hair. When I wanted to do this, I knew it was gonna have to be a two-step process because my hair is so dark. So the first one, I'm not proud of this, but I just wanted to get it done. So I just grabbed an old box of, I think it's called the Frost and Glow. I've used it in the past, so, so that's why I used that one. But as you can see, like all my hair looks where I dyed it. I wanted to do like a balayashi kind of look. And as you can see, it looks all orange because I know that already. And so I knew I was gonna have to go back and dye it again. And this is what we're gonna do with Herbatint because I know their dyes are as clean as you can get them and they work so wonderfully. My hair feels so amazing after using them, almost like I'm doing a hair treatment and not like dyeing my hair, which is supposed to be like damaging for your hair. So anyways, this is how it looks before. So let's take a good look and let's see how it looks after. And okay, so, and also I think the Frost and Glow box that I got was pretty old because some of the um, ends didn't even gather like any of the color like underneath here. You can't really see anything or can you? I don't think you can. So, I mean, that's not even fun it is what it is now we'll do the herbatint part and i'm gonna show you how i did this look i'm going to show you exactly what i did with the frost and glow but now with the herbatint to take this red off my hair so i'm gonna start making the mix and i'm going to use only half so if it's 60 milliliters i'll do 30 of both and i'm gonna mix it in this little thing i'm gonna use my little cap from the application kit and this one so we'll do two cap now the next step you're gonna use this little sachet and you're going to Put it all around just a little bit around your hairline so your skin doesn't get stained. And this is the consistency, it's just like a conditioner. Now I have some clips in here in case I have to like, take my hair or something and I have my dye here. And we are going to start and I'm going to do only the lower part, like maybe from here, especially from like this areas, from this, whatever you see, not this under layers in here. I won't do that as much. And I'm going to do this little wannabe fringes all the way to the top because I did go all the way to the top with the frost and glow. So... We'll do that, but let's start. And, oh, I need to put my gloves back on. And I won't use the little cape thing that comes with the application kit just because I don't care this 
t-shirt gets stained. I have my thing here. And let's see, let's do this big one. I'm gonna grab it by like areas and then I'm gonna start applying. And basically what I did with the frosting glue, after applying it with uh, the brush, I will go like this to make sure I got not like a straight line, but just like a subtle change of color. So this is what I did. The same with this one, just go like this, because this is like a bigger part. Just make sure that everything has dye. And it's not just like, Okay, and I'm gonna go with the bigger chunks first and then do the whole thing, the whole hair on my lower part. And the gel makes it super convenient, like it's not as messy. Um, and it doesn't smell bad at all. Like my husband didn't even notice that I was dying my hair. So that's good. And I'm using an ashy tone because if I keep on doing like natural color, like the, the ones that end with an N, um, I'm just going to keep on getting that red. Which, I mean, I guess it's part of the, the brassiness, but it's also, I think, my mom is a redhead, so not that I have anything against redhead, but I don't feel like that color fits me at all. I find that it's less worth, wasteful if I do it with my hands. If I just rub it in real good. And then if I need more dye, then I'll just get a little bit more. And as you can see, I am not an expert, clearly. Okay, so now I'm gonna take all of this and just Put it in here so that it's not like in the way really like all i would like is to have a lighter brown i'm not asking for much i don't think my hair used to be light brown i don't know what happened now it's just like this horrible color if you don't really know if it's black or brown, I just don't like it. I think it looks very harsh against my skin. And I guess it doesn't look as bad now because I am a little bit tanner, but I still don't like it. Now I finished every single part, I think, and I still have a little bit more of dye, so I'm just gonna go and do like an overall. So I'm gonna grab like this big chunk and then I'm going to put some more dye. And by the way, I don't know what this is all about, like this redness, I only have it on this side. I don't know, it doesn't hurt or anything, I just noticed it. Okay, I am done. I don't have any more dye left, so now I'm just gonna put it in like a little bun now I'm gonna let it process for 40 minutes I'm going to make Lola breakfast and update like start working on my emails and I'll see you after 40 minutes okay so now it's been 40 minutes I am going to hop in the shower and let me see we're going to need you don't need to use this one, but it is recommended. 
Um, I haven't used it in the past. This is gonna be my first time trying it, but I want it on a giveaway along with this one and the hair color. So I'm going to use this one, but you don't have to use it. But first, uh, you're gonna try to rinse everything off, the shampoo, and then I'm going to try to wring it and then get as much of the excess water out as I can. And then I'm gonna put the royal cream, leave it on for five minutes, and then uh, rinse it off. I took a shower, I have my skincare on, and my hair is starting to dry. I'm going to just do my usual hair um, treatments that I do. And, and I'm gonna show you about this product in a video later on. But I'm just gonna do what I do. And then I'm going to let it air dry because I don't like to put, to use a lot of heat on my hair. I want to start styling it more, but also I need to be careful because I don't want to damage it too much. So I'm going to let it air dry and then I'm going to try to style it a little bit so we can see the color and I'm gonna show you in here so that we can see it in the same lighting. Okay, so now it is almost dry. I think we can see the color, it really helped. I think this is just what I was looking for. Just taking out the red and then just keeping the lightness and I wasn't expecting like a super blonde tone because I know that's not possible with the products that I'm using. Um, but yeah, so this is it. But I'm going, I'm going to style it now and I'm going to try to keep it that way because I usually don't do anything but I want to step it up with my hair game. So now I'll do that. Okay, it is now stylized. At the best of my abilities, I'm trying to let it grow out so it's at this awkward um, length that it bumps with my shoulders and it gets like this, but uh, I feel it looks much better. And I actually like, I don't have any ideas of how to style it, so this is what I could think of and I think it looks good and I like it. So I think now we can move on and start talking more about Herbitint and the brand. Herbitint is an Italian brand, which means that as a European country, um, they have better control of their ingredients, so that already saves me some time. Plus, adding to that, that it's a natural brand, so that really makes it for me. Their color gels contain no ammonia. The only thing that they have is phenylindiamines or PPDs, which are synthetic color pigments that are used to alter the color of your hair. It is also made with natural ingredients such as aloe vera, witch hazel, walnut, rhubarb, and white birch. These ingredients protect, nourish, and strengthen your hair and scalp as well as enhance the color. Herbitint is also the only hair color company that's B Corp certified and all their products are cruelty free, vegan, and and common fully recyclable packaging. As I mentioned before, I want this uh, the as I mentioned before, I want the hair color, the application kit on a giveaway as well as these two, which are the full-size bottles of the normalizing shampoo and the royal cream. I think the royal cream is what really makes a difference. Once you rinse your hair and wash it with whatever shampoo you have, if you are using this one or another one, um, your hair is still feeling a little bit dry, but once you leave this on for five minutes, it literally changes your hair. It makes it so soft and silky, and it really makes it feel like you almost did like a treatment to your hair. So that's it, you guys. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And hopefully now you want to dye your hair at home using Herbitint. Follow them on Instagram. I'm going to add their links on the description box. I'm also going to link uh, my blog post that I posted about two years ago in case you're interested in reading more about the brand. And I'll see you next time. Bye.